friends welcome back to the channel we appreciate you guys coming back and checking us out so we're gonna make a video today hope you guys enjoyed it if you do make sure you hit that like button for us all that good stuff let's get to it so we're back here at all bar look who we got on camera today what's up josh how you doing what's, bud so what's the plan for today what what are you doing what are you getting into i'm just setting up more of the quarantine rack here as you can see there's still a few empty tanks we're just putting Blood sponges on them. I'm getting lights set up on certain tanks, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna do some water change while we're over here. All right, something you don't normally see us doing here water changes, huh. quarantine tanks. Water changes sucks. That's why we uh, tried automating everything, but with quarantine racks for individual systems, gotta do water changes on them. We place while it. we are uh, siphoning it out, I'm going getting all the garbage out the bottom. So we will then fill this up with uh, good water from our system and this will be ready to go for quarantine. So what I do here, I know my cleanest water is coming out of the, the stingray pond over there and that's straight from the monster pond which is our absolute best water. Everything cycles through here and then goes out. So I'm pulling it from the intake of the Blasio, it's getting their water straight from the stingray pond. So I know this is good fresh water. And here we go, we are filling this 90 gallon tank here and we're going to be done with this quarantine rack. So I got to fill it this one, drain and fill that one. I got to set up sponge filters on here, which I have the stuff to do it. I just got to get in there and do it. This is airline tubing and I don't like long tubing laying around anywhere, so I'm going to cut it to the right size and hook up my sponge filter. All right. This is essentially our sponge filter, which is going to go against the back wall. Splash some stuff up on here so it wants to stick. There we go. There it is. Now I can just go snippy snippy and hook it right up to here. Now, as you know, we have a lin two linear air pumps that run the entire fish room. So uh, this is actually no extra to run all these quarantine tanks. We run them just off the sponge to go through the So we got Dan here carrying a tank out for us. Appreciate it, Dan. <laughs> Well, he shows up and he gets instantly put to work. And that's what we do to people here. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we do it, huh? <laughs> so hopefully those plants spread around and propagate in there now that they're in the water. What do you think, Rich? you think that'll work out? I think it smells a lot. <laughs> the plants will stay up here, get caught by that overflow there and they can grow. The more plants we have up here, the more nitrates we can eat out of the water, the better off we are. Are you in sock pee? Yes, he is. Yeah, you're getting wet. Yeah, he is. He's That's getting okay. wet socks. You have not been issued uh, OFR flip-flops yet, I see. No, oh, shell proof flip-flops. That's right. <laughs> That's the, the uh, preferred footwear around here. Those uh, cyclists behind you think they're speed time, don't they? Oh yeah, watch this. <laughs> there they go man look at that look left and right there's no cichlids anywhere they're all right here acting like piranhas <laughs> yeah they are <laughs> ravenous what you really want to do is go down low mm -hmm. right over here and then go back that way and look for the micro babies. They just had thousands of little babies. There's one right here. I see him. Look. See him right there? That little blue guy? Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Going up. Oh, look, there's yellows. Oh, look. Yeah. They're everywhere. Yeah, they are. What are those convicts there? The ones with the stripes, Rich? Yeah, look, no, there's no convicts in here. Okay. Look this way. Look how many micro babies are over here. They're everywhere here. Yeah, they are. Hey, if you like cookies, do you ever think there'll be too many cookies in your life? <laughs> Look at that guy. There are some really, really small ones in there as you guys can see. I basically just hooked this up to a valve so one line splits into two. That's also coming from a full four gang valve. So this is actually controlling eight different filters. There's enough air coming through this line that we have enough to, to run all this from our linear air, air pump. They work wonders.
that subscribe button right there. I'm Rob Fay from Youngstown. Sarah. And we're here to get some plecos. Nice. Excited. It's great to be here. This is a little surreal. What size tank do you guys got? 75 gallon. Nice. Seven How about guppies? In there? How about nice. guppies? I'll take anything. We've got as many guppies as you think you can take. <laughs> We've got more than you think you can take. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. Look at these babies. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You're taller than I expected, Big Rich. Yeah. <laughs> How you figure, a little buddy? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna give him some hair. Go. Split my hair. There we go. I'm gonna stand behind you here. Are you ready? Go for it. Oh, All right. Come on. Anyway, we got we got to put some we got to put some right over the top. There you go. There, take the picture. Yeah, Perfect. Oh man, I look. Uh, how's that? How's that working? <laughs> I don't know. Ow. <laughs> we got like little four on us. And then if you look closely, look down here. Look at the micro babies. Oh wow! Yep. Look at these guys. There's thousands of babies in there everywhere. Was this the Bellagio? Yeah. Yeah. This one and that one. Yeah. You'd walk between them. Yeah. If you look behind you, you've got Greg, the oh. turtle. Yeah. Look at his orange eyes out. Isn't he just amazing? What's his name? Greg. <laughs> Greg, huh? Greg Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> See those orange eyes he's got? Uh -huh. There's Hubert right there. This shell is healed completely. And then this is Squirt. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh, so you got it done basically, huh? That's okay. We drained that one down, filled it back up. I went ahead and drained the 125 a little bit, giving them a water change as well. So now we're basically just, we're done with this. Now I can start work on the 450, but we have these mag float magnets on the front of each tank, so it's easy to clean. As you can see, all the way down. Actually, need two more for them bottom tanks, but I will get those in due time. On to the 450, huh? Yes, sir. What's the plans for it? Fix it and fill it. With what? Salt water? With water. Water. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys can see we're at the 1,000, and uh, I'll give you a quick glimpse of this behind the scenes. The Phantom Red Tails, Josh has moved them into the thousand, gonna give them a much bigger area. Oh, that was pretty. Pretty? Looks like he had some white spots on them, that's what I thought. Here they are. Coming off to their new home. In Youngstown. So yes, we do have more fish available, but it's slim pickings right now. We have three Paku. All the plecos are gone. We do have guppies. Guppy galore. So these guys will be uh, being your home. Whole bunch of guppies if anybody wants them, huh, Josh? There, there's actually a, a few other fish as well. There's not only guppies in here, there's a couple platties and quarry cats as well. Okay. So I'm adding that guy to Reaper's collection because he's super pretty. So they might uh, add him to our guppy tank. That's a really, really pretty guppy. How big did these get, Josh? 
as big as that to get. This is it, huh? Yeah. Wow. So it's basically a micro fish. Yes, nano fish. Nano fish. Very pretty. Oh, that boy jumped over. That's funny. From where? Huh. Okay, I thought I'd show you guys an update of these beautiful discus and how they're doing. It's been, you know, a few days since I've been here, since they've been released into this tank. Can you see how stunning they are? Just beautiful, beautiful. But I'll tell you what, they are some beautiful fish. Just give you a couple minutes of these. That blue one right there, man, he's, he's real nice. I like the way he looks, gorgeous. They're all pretty, actually. They're all pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous thing, gorgeous fish. I'm trying to get you guys some different views there, instead of just straight on. Hope you guys enjoy the different views. I guess these guys over here might be a little jealous, huh? Like, they're like, man, we were a show stunners. This guy right here still is, though. That blue guy back there. I, you guys know how I feel about him. He's one of my favorite ones in there. Types, at least. There's a few of them in there. But he's, man, that is just, it's kind of like neon looking to me, you know? This Venustas here, he's definitely different. Definitely different. He's really cool looking. And while we're talking about cool looking fish, let's go over here and check these guys out. Look at him back there hiding out. Beautiful. These things are gorgeous. I love the way that orange and that blue is back there. Let's come to say hello some more. And if you guys know where Reaper in, John went on that arowana rescue. Here they are. And as you guys can see, they have the, the net over top so they don't jump out. But there they are. Beautiful, aren't they? Sorry about the net, but hey, what are you gonna do, right? Pretty soon they'll be in a tank and you'll see, be able to see them without the net. The fish of safety is the most important thing at the moment. Well, always actually, but the net is just there temporarily until we put them in another tank where they won't jump out. Let's see if I can get some views from the top. There we go. There we go. They're just so graceful, aren't they? The way they just glide around. Only as dirty as they're not food. I, I can't no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know. I don't want that either. But I'll take some, put it in my my temper tank. Yeah. So you want a, a net full? You want to fix them? No. What do you want? Just a scoop, if you, whatever you get in a scoop. I mean, that's a, it's a thirty, it's a thirty-five gallon tank. So I'll give you not a, too big of a scoop, like right? Yeah. <laughs> Go easy on me. Here. <laughs> We're not pouring shots or anything. <laughs> nice. Awesome. So how's your time here at OFR so far? Uh, Amazing. Yeah. Everything I expected it to be and then more. Yeah. I mean, just, if you guys, if anyone out there has a chance to come up here, don't pass it up. Don't pass This is really, really special. Seeing it in person is totally it, different, isn't it? It is. I've been watching the show for a couple years now. Yeah. And I had some ideas of, you know, how, how to navigate around, what the rooms would look like, the tanks and stuff, but YouTube doesn't do it any justice. All right, so there you guys have it. Another video in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. 
some people were asking about it, so I thought I'd give it to you guys. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down there. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for us right there. We're really appreciate it. We're quickly approaching 10,000 subs if we haven't passed it already. But 10,000 just the beginning. We have a lot more to go, believe me. A lot more entertainment for you guys. So you stick with us and me and Reaper, we're gonna put out a whole bunch of great stuff. Make sure you hit that like button down there. Subscribe, leave us comments, all that good stuff. Until next time, remember what I always say, fishy friends, where there's a will star, there is a way. We'll see you guys later.